Francois, what is the most important part of beginning uh, a production in terms of production design? Like when you begin, what are the first few things you're doing in the very beginning? Uh, it's to read the script carefully and 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 even before, because it ha now in these days of age, you receive the script, and after that you meet the director. You know, that's a process usually. So you read the script and you do a quick research on you know, or quick research on the period and what's the implication of this. And you, you, I, I'm from the theater, so I have, I'm based on the script. You know, right. when it's not in the script for me, doesn't doesn't mean anything, you know? So I've, I've, I, I read the script carefully, and depending where we are, you know, in the future world, in the now, or in the period, it's Renaissance, and, and trying to, to put my head in this visual, the visual context of the film. And after that, you sit down with the director, he, you, he tell you his, his, his own reading of the script, and now you you starting a conversation. You know you starting to have an exchange of of just bold concept. You know nothing nothing specific. And after that you start working. Francois, a quote from your personal site is from you. Yes, and it refers to you say when I work on a film <laughs> set, I try to give it a theatrical feel. And yeah. conversely, yeah. when I work yeah, on yeah, a theater yeah. set, I try to give it a a film feel. So tell us the difference in each and any similarities. Um, I like set that in the movie that are, they, they bring a lot of information and they have, it's a, it's a very subtle difference. I mean, I like a lot of texture, like in the theater, you know, when I, I, I started there, I, started, I did opera and uh, so there was a lot of texture and st now the, opera, the, the theater style, the theater language try, uh, has been much simplified. It's more, much more stark. I like it though. <laughs> I like it too, but I'm <laughs> trying to justify it. It's, it's a little it's bit a more complicated. Well, yeah, yeah, I like the charge set. I like you know, like on in Brooklyn. My feeling it's the little the little uh, house of uh, Miss Kelly, where it's upstairs. She's sure. uh, she's the witch, right? She's a, hor a horrible woman. For me, it's a little bit theatrical. You know, there's over stuff there with plant and you know, and 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 the theater. I would never do that. The theater would be more texture, it's sta or it's stark, or, or stark. more mm -hmm. uh, abstract, more something with tall, w you know the opposite tall window with light, and you know it's a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. It's difficult. Okay, maybe is it more understated with film? Yeah, because it's just this little window that we're seeing yeah, 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 seeing yeah. through. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, you talked about the first step of um, beginning uh, production is when you look at the script. Do you go somewhere to digest the script? Because you know we have so many distractions. I see these people working at Starbucks, and bless no, their I heart, I don't know how Starbucks. they do it. <laughs> uh, but are you going somewhere, maybe even in nature, somewhere to really get a feeling for no, what's true. happening? That's true. Usually, I go in a park. Okay, and you're I reading the script. I, I, I sit there. I like to be sitting outside. Right. So, I, 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 honestly, very often I read my script on, on, on a public space, but not a cafe. It doesn't work for me. Right. Too doesn't much work going for on. Me. No. Okay. I drink too much coffee and it's not good for <laughs> me. <laughs> a lot of people watching too. Yeah. 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 Um, when you design for a specific place, do you actually go there physically, or is it enough for you to just see pictures on the internet? Can you taste, almost smell a place just by a picture, or do you really need to be there? Um, it's really helpful to go there, really helpful. Sometimes it's, it doesn't mean anything, but even like I did, a, uh, um, I did what, the Borgia, you know, even if it's a Renaissance, it's 14 something, 
I still went to Rome. I knew Rome, but I, w I went back to Rome to read it with, with the eyes of, okay, I have to do St. Peter's, I have to do St. Peter's Square. Even if it's not the same, we couldn't copy because the St. Peter that at that time was not the same one that it's now. So because it's right after him, they demolish and, you know, and uh, uh, Michelangelo paint the ceiling. But at that time, it was, it was still the, the, the early, early church. So it was a church from 1800. But I went to Rome to, first of all, why not going to Sure, Rome? <laughs> yeah. Good, good excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not, it's, it's, it's I, I did the many movies that were on the road a lot, Japan, Italy, uh, we, uh, I shot in, you know, the Red Violin, five countries. So I, we, we I, it's very good to go there. Sometimes they say it won't happen. You know, nobody wants to pay you to go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, you get there. I don't need the the. Most, I don't need the the director to come with me. You know. Sure, you can go. It's just there. me and and tr trying to, and I. I knew, now I do a lot of internet, but for many years I, I have a huge library. You know, it would fill this room, so I have lots of book on. So I go there and. So for Brooklyn, did you go to Brooklyn and also Ireland? We shot in Ireland, so we went there. We scout for maybe two weeks. Hmm. One week, the director was sitting in the in the in the car with us. He was very open and we, that's where we really connect. John Crowley? Huh? Yeah. It's un, a little bit unusual hmm. that a, a director would spend like a week in a car with the designer looking at location. And what were you doing? Like where were you going? Stopping at different roadside? Uh, no, 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 trying to find the, the, the town where she lives and, you know, and find a connection, house, and because it's, it's limited number of scenes, but we still, she has to go out and walk to the dance hall and and the general store you know and um, so we need stuff and John is Irish so we knew more and but we we scout and scout and we end up shooting in a in a Scotty, which is a, the town that it's written in the book in the novel the same place by so we had two or three village and, you know, ABC and we, we went down, down, down and we took uh, an Scotty. You think back to when you were a child, what you did for fun that prepared you for what you do now? Were you artistic? Yeah. Were your parents artists? No. 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 Um, in early college I want to do movie you know I was uh, when I was I guess I saw Antonioni you know the the tennis player what's his what's it, uh, with David he's a photographer Vanessa Redgrave and David Emmings you know in 67 no, I don't know. okay so I want to be a, a, a filmmaker I didn't know what it meant but I want to be mm -hmm. one so and 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 um, uh, some friend were in the theater in college, and they say come with us. And I say, but I, I can't, I'm too shy to go on stage. On stage, and the guy said, but okay, just deal with the set. So I start there, and I was what 17, and that's it. That's all. And that's how you got your start. Is that I right? I did that, and I thought that I went to theater school, and uh, I finished theater school at. I was 21 years old, and that's it. So then, from that point on, how did you begin booking work? You, 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 in the theater, you start doing, uh, you know, props, and you assistant to a designer, and you do drawing, and you do technical drawing, and this is, I'm talking about 1970, you know, and slowly, and at one point, I, we did the play, a, 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 a director wants to do a version for the television, so he took the same designers, it was me. Okay. So I started doing, I did one project with him, and after that he had another project, but, so he hired me. 
So all slowly, I was a set decorator, I was an art director, but it's, I was still mis mixing both. I was a designer in theater and set decorator and art director in a movie. And I started doing more and more movie and less and less theater. And I had two kids, I couldn't stop. And they wanted to go to school and, uh, you know, so because theater is uh, difficult to make money. What are small touches maybe that you can make for, for film, not for theater, but that you can say a lot about a character or a mood with those small touches? Because, yeah, um, you, you, as a production designer, you work with set the career, so, and, and they, a lot of times they bring you stuff because they think you, you are in charge of a little bit the big picture and they they focus on one thing so and after that you you know that we of course it's Ireland so there's crucifix everywhere I, I, I remember I saw it last time yesterday for the first time on the big screen and there's a little near light switch there's a little crucifix I didn't remember putting it in there I guess it's the set decorator but I thought it was a nice touch this one on, on a short movie like this, from what I saw yesterday, there was, I had a little personal <laughs> problem with some of the stuff I did, but uh, uh, hopefully nobody's going to see it, but uh, it's part of the deal to shoot a movie like this in 35 days with that, that amount of budget than uh, with shooting in three countries, you know? Sure. It's, it's three crew, you have three crew, and because we, I was the only one traveling, you know? I, it was not one team that go that went to Ireland, moved back to Montreal, and went to to Brooklyn. It was me going and having a new crew all the oh, time. So it's uh -huh. a little bit. Uh, sure. So you're getting used to people's skill set. No, 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 but it's uh, uh, it, you have to start again. The line, you know, it, it's a little bit. Uh, but it, that's the only way to make sense, anyway. So sure. Well, who are you working with, and who is who is on your team? Whether it's in Montreal, whether it's in Brooklyn, whether it's in Ireland. So uh, the breakdown of, a, uh, of our department team in that scale of a movie, you have an art director, a set deck, and a prop person, and a graphic, basically. The set deck, sometimes I have one assistant, depending, or two, depending on the, first of all, there's different way of make uh, uh, the structure in different country, you know, not the same in Italy, not the same in in Ireland that in America and so you have to adapt but it's this is the same uh, it's just the structure is different you know that person does that and that person in in in, in another country uh, the shift it's a, the, you know the responsibility is a little bit different but basically is we do the same same job so you have this so the art director a construction coordinator a set deck and a prop, basically. That's the corpus, you know. And on that, uh, you uh, a little bit outside, you have the people who, who deal with the car. That are, it's another tribe, the car people. <laughs> <laughs> it's another tribe because you basically you, they have to deal with collector, and it's always a little bit tricky to get the collector coming, you know, with their car and. Okay. But in that case, we didn't have, we didn't have to uh, deal with um, the breakdown of a car. You know, when when it's a sad story and you want to have a dirty car, a punch-up car, but it's 1930 or 1950. But this one, it's all proper. It was easy. You know, all the car. I, there was no reason to make them uh, beat up or you know, it was okay. It's when you get the movie when you need beat up car. Period. That's a nightmare. How much are you looking at the monitor when you're filming a movie, or maybe you're not? I'm, uh, personally, I'm there every morning to, if it's a new set, I'm there to present the set to the DP and the director and everything. I stay there until the first shot and I leave. I, don't, I'm not, I can't stay there. First of all, I, I, I'm, I'm not too keen on the, the sh you know, the atmosphere, it's too slow for me. So, and usually I have something else to do. So I'm, I, I, I talk, 
I pres if, if, if it's a set with different change, I might come back. You know, well, let's say uh, we have to change it's later, they move, or you know, something happened in the, in, in, in the script that the set need change. I will be there, but I don't stay there. Don't I, stay. I just stay there for the, the first shot, and when it's done, I leave. Because I have to prepare the next day. It was going to be somewhere else. Ah, so that's what you're going to the, either the next location or the next, let's say, studio part. The studio, you have to go and, and, and meet the set decorator who's dressing the set. The new ch you have to go choose the curtain and look at the wallpaper for the next XX. So we, if you, it's, it's my, my, my way of working. I don't stay there. I feel like it, it's not fair for all my, my team that they have to come in see me on the set and show me wallpaper and leave. No, no. So I'm, 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 a, I'm, you know, I'm a craftsman, so I have to go. I have to go. And it's been working fine this way. <laughs>